Hey everybody, it is Friday, October 25th, and I'm bringing you one of my favorite, absolute favorite types of food sampling segments, and that is when I uh, go to one of our many wonderful international markets here in Tacoma, get myself, uh, pick out myself the most interesting, uh, curious, curiosity-inducing items that I can find, uh, and then assemble them in front of the camera and sample them for you. Um, so I went to La Huerta, uh, Latin American market today and um, because it's just right down the road from the uh, the house that I'm dog sitting at and I got such a uh, uh, an interesting assortment of uh, items from there inexpensive items mostly uh, that I'm gonna have to break this into two two segments so uh, this is gonna be uh, I'm gonna do four in segment one probably another four or I think I actually might actually have five things to try for the second segment, but I'm doing four for this one. All right, so the uh, logical beginning of this, since we have two sauces to try, is uh, gonna be this. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. Let's start with the beverage, okay? They had several different versions of theirs. There was one by Goya, and there were like two or three others, but uh, I don't know. This is some kind of Mexican cola called Cola Champagne. All right, so it's, uh, I don't know. It, is it gonna taste? It looks like it's going to taste like a cross between uh, cream soda and, uh, you know, Coca-Cola. But, I don't know, I'm just basing that on the fact that it says Cola Champagne and based on the color. I'm like, that kind of looks like, you know, if you mixed up cream soda with, uh, I don't know though, it's got an orange color. I don't think it's going to taste orangey. There's no indication of that. There are bubbles on it. Alright. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that correctly. So, um, typically when I pronounce uh, foreign words, I do pretty well with them, in particular if it's, uh, you know, like a, a German word, but um, I don't know, I, I have a problem with Spanish pronunciation, and it was a weird thing too. My most difficult courses in uh, college, when I got my, um, so I have, I have a degree in English and history in secondary education, and <laughs> Uh, one of the things that we had to do in college was uh, pick a foreign language to study, and I chose Spanish. I took four semesters of Spanish in uh, university, and I did not do well. I was borderline, I was almost at a D in one of those. I don't know what it was, I just struggled with it. I think, um, you know, learning, a, I don't know, it's just, it's the grammar and syntax of the language. Uh, I'm so accustomed to English grammatical structures and pronunciations that it was just really difficult for me. It was a really, really tough four semesters. And it was only through the uh, the goodness of the, um, I believe she was a Parawayan. There was a Parawayan woman uh, who was my professor for my last two semesters of it, who was far, far more forgiving than the professor for the first two semesters. So she, you know, gave me a lot of breaks. I didn't deserve to pass the last two semesters of Spanish that I took, but she was nice and she liked me. Um, and she could see that I was really worried that I wasn't going to be able to, I was going to have to like repeat them and wasn't going to graduate on time. So, uh, she was nice and kind of, kind of let me through when really she shouldn't have. But all that said and done, nothing against the Spanish language. I think it's a beautiful language. I love Spanish literature and I absolutely love uh, Spanish food and Hispanic and all Latin American foods and cuisines. So, uh, you know. I'm sorry, I just have difficulty with your language, but uh, that doesn't mean that I don't love other aspects of your culture. So here we go. Let's start with cola champagne. I get to I get to show off my little my little a squatchy bottle opener today. Well, it says twist to open, but whatever. I want to show off the bottle opener. Come on. All right. It smells like cream soda. It smells like cream soda exactly like it. All right, let's try it. And it tastes like cream soda. <laughs> exactly like cream soda. But better. You know, it's not as... It's not as sickly sweet as certain, um, like, Barks cream soda or, um... What's the other one? And w makes a cream soda. That thing is just in inedibly sickly sweet. This isn't like that. It's got a smoothness. It is nice and sweet, but it's a more subtle sweetness. Maybe they use cane sugar instead of all that, you know, 
just like the granulated sugar or whatever they I think they use crane cane sugar in their colas that's what that's what differentiates some um, Mexican coca-cola from you know regular American coca-cola is that they use cane sugar perhaps they use that in this too let's take a look carbonated water high fructose corn syrup sodium benzoate citric acid natural and artificial flavor and yellow number six nope they just use corn syrup I don't know it still tastes good tastes better to me than the regular cane, regular thin all right so that'll provide relief if needed here's the next thing all right so these are yuquitas chile toreado these are spicy cassava chips and if you don't know what it is cassava also known as yucca is a root vegetable and it's kind of the latin american equivalent of uh, potatoes it's used in the same way obviously they uh make uh, chips out of it um they also use it in uh, soups and stews um yeah and i'm assuming you know they're like you know fried you know just like you have uh, french fried potatoes there's probably some kind of equivalent of that in latin american uh cassava cuisine as well all right so we're going to try that hmm it smells good Mmm. That's interesting. It tastes like a chili lime potato chip, but the, the texture is obviously different. It's somewhere, the flavor is not very different. It just tastes like potato, but there's something different about the texture. It's somewhere between a thin sliced potato chip and a like a baked glazed or something like that. And I haven't looked at the calories. Oh no, no, they're shameful. I thought that it, I thought and upon tasting it, they tasted less oily and shameful than um, in your typical, um, you know, like wavy lays or whatever, or Fritos, but, but no. It says there are 4.5 servings in this at 140 calories each. So let's do the math here. What is that? I don't know. It's a lot. I'm not good at mental math. They're good, though. And I think they're they're not too overly seasoned that they won't work as dipping sauces for the two sauces that I'm going to try next. So, yeah, I mean, they're... It's like, it's like some chili powder with a hint of lime, but it's not, like, excessively seasoned. Um, so yeah, they'll work as dipping chips. So that's the next one. The Huerta Market makes their own habanero salsa. I'm very excited to try that. I've already smelled it, and it smells delicious, but I'm going to smell it again. Oh yeah, it smells super peppery and fresh. Mmm, it's got a nice orange color. I'm excited. Let's try this. That's a hell of a peppery salsa. Dang. I don't see an ingredients list there. But I taste the vinegar, the lime juice, the salt. But it is primarily a pepper sauce. That is very, very peppery. And it is hot. I got heat building up my mouth already. Whoa. Yeah. This thing is peppery enough. It's hitting three already for heat. Which I was definitely not expecting. I thought, oh, it's going to be a solid 2, maybe a 2.5. Mm-mm. That's a 3 for heat. Good, respectable heat. Really, really, really fresh tasting. Wonderfully fresh tasting. And if you love habaneros, next time you're at your local Latin mar market, look for something like this. Because it's about as fresh as it gets, you know, apart from just eating the pepper raw. <clears throat> Super fresh. Really refreshing. Really nice, uh, heavily peppery flavor couple other things in there that you can taste maybe a little bit of black pepper very nice very nice and there's some zest from I'm assuming lime juice citric acid or um, <clears throat> maybe some vinegar very good salsa so I'm gonna give that salsa like um, oh pretty high rating at least a 7.5 that's yummy that's addictive and very respectable heat a three at least nice 
Okay, so the last item for today's video is Bikama's Chiltipa sauce. Now, I've already tried one of the other hot sauces that this company uh, makes. Um, it's called Salsa Brava, and it's delicious. It's a wonderful, zesty, and piquant. Um, uh, it's great over eggs and tacos and everything like that. It's just like, it's kind of like the quintessential Mexican hot sauce. It's everything that you could possibly want in one. And it avoids the watery texture of some others. It's got a nice, actually thick texture. And it's uh, more peppery than some Mexican hot sauces that I've had. But it still has that sort of like standard basic Mexican hot sauce flavor. Where there's a little bit of extra zip and tang from uh, lime juice and um, more peppery thickness. All right, than you'd normally get. So I have high expectations for this one. I also know there are green tomatoes in this. So the ingredients are water, green tomato, coriander. Oh wow, this has got cilantro too. Green chiltipa pepper. Salt, sugar, cornstarch, vinegar, monosodium glutamate, spices, there goes those undefined spices, xanthan gum, sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate, onion powder, wheat flour, garlic powder, calcium, blah, 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 sodium metabisulfate, and then yellow food coloring. Okay, so all the exciting stuff was towards the beginning. I shouldn't have wasted more time in this video um, reading all those uninteresting uh, latter half ingredients bunch of preservatives and thickeners and food colorings. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna take a lot because I don't think this is gonna be super hot. That's a green sauce, all right. That's a green sauce. Lots and lots of cilantro in there. Love that herby cilantro flavor. It's thick. You get zestiness from the lime juice and the peppers and the green tomatoes, of course. Wait, well, there isn't lime juice in this. There's vinegar. And then I know that green chiltepin peppers are, um, are super zesty too. The liminess kind of comes from the chiltepin peppers and the green tomatoes, I'm assuming. That one's very good. It's every bit as good as the salsa. Man, I really like this. Co I think there was one more that I, I, I now I have to go back maybe tomorrow and get it. I love this company's sauces. Picamas is great. This is every bit as good as the, as the salsa brava. Yeah, instant 7.5. It's so refreshing and herby, tomatoey, nice and thick and seedy. So it's great over that chip. I'm sure it'd be absolutely amazing over eggs. Well, there you go. Four awesome products. Love them all. And uh, we'll be bringing a second installment in the next few days.